Hi guys, this is Edward and welcome to the 14th tutorial of creating a Flappy Bird game with Godot. This video is going to be quite short since we are just going to implement a simple screen shaking script under the camera. And because in this game there is only one time when the screen shakes, we won't be writing a very modular code, but of course you can modify it and do your own for it. So I'll go ahead and open up the game stage. And since the shaking is something that will only happen on this scene, we are going to make it only available on this scene. And instead of implementing it in the camera script, I'm actually going to add a simple node as a child of the camera. I'll name it shaker and add a built-in script, which I'll name shaker as well. And I'll remove all the comments. I'm going to create two constants that we will use on this script. One name duration, which is how long the shaking is going to last. And I'll set it equals to 0 0.18. And the other constant is magnitude, for how strong the shaking will be. And I'll set it to 3. What this represents is how much the camera is going to randomly move on both axes. In this case, it will be 3 pixels up or down, and left or right. I will declare a variable named time to keep track of how much time it has been since the shaking started and I will set it equals to zero and last but not least we need a camera node so let's declare a variable on ready name camera equals to get parent so just as we have done a few times before I will create a function with the game loop within pretty much similar to coroutines in Unity that will take care of pretty much everything. So let's create a function name shake. And in here we'll have an infinite while loop that will loop every frame of the game. And to make that happen, we're going to yield this function until the scene tree emits the signal idle frame. Now, in this loop, we'll increase time by get process delta time. And to make sure time doesn't go beyond the duration, I'll set time equals to whichever is less time or duration. And instead of actually looping while true, let's loop while time is less than duration. And this right here is pretty much all we need to do to loop for a certain amount of time. And to make the camera shake, we're going to use the camera offset. So I'll create a variable named offset equal to a vexel2 and set the camera offset to that variable. But just before applying it, we're going to obviously change a few things. We're going to set offset that x equals to a random number from minus magnitude to magnitude. And the same for the y axis. And this should pretty much do it. Now we just have to call the shake function at the right moment which is when the bird gets hit. So in ready, we'll look for the bird using utils that get main node that get node bird. And if we found it from the bird, we'll connect the signal state changed to the self node to the function on bird state changed, which I'll create down here. with the bird as a parameter and in here we will ask if bird that get a state is equals to bird that state hit or if bird that get a state is equals to bird that state grounded and if that statement is true we will call the function shake let's give it a shot and when the bird hits the ground we get a screen shake, but there is a problem with the offset of the camera. And that is happening because the logic we use to make the camera follow the bird relies on the camera's offset. Fortunately, addressing this is quite simple. Just before getting in the loop, we're going to create a variable named initial offset equals to the camera's offset. And at the end of this function, 
after the loop we will set the offset back and of course we have to keep the original offset while applying the shake so i will change this to initial offset plus offset let's try it out and there we have it and if i hit a pipe it shakes but you can see that it doesn't shake when it then hits the ground and even though this is what needs to happen on the game it's not quite what we have in code and this is because the timer never gets back to zero once the loop is over so down here i will set time equals to zero let's start it again And now we have it shaking twice, which shouldn't be happening. So to solve this, we can go back to our little bug, or we can disconnect the bell signal from this function so it doesn't get caught again. So down here, from the bird, we'll disconnect the signal state changed from the self node from the function on bird stage changed. Let's give it a shot. And when the bird hits the pipe, it shakes, but not when hitting the ground after that. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and as always, thanks to all my patrons. And until next time, see you later.